So today we're going to show you all my puzzles and I'll give you a tour of my entire puzzle room. Are you excited? Alright, so we're going to start at the top of the shelf. Over here I have a couple of the Clementoni puzzles. This one I just bought last weekend. It's like a Mentos puzzle. Super cool. Looks really hard though. And I like the container it came in. Um, over here I have a 2,000 piece Cobble Hill puzzle. And then I have the 9,000 piece Ravensburger puzzle of the Disney wall. And then I have the 18,000 piece Sunset Paradise puzzle. All right, moving on to the second shelf, I have all these puzzles from Something to Miss Puzzle Twist. Those are super fun. I have this 3,000 piece cake puzzle from Kodak, a white mountain puzzle, and then a random masterpiece puzzle. Over here I have all my Mad Cat puzzles. I have the bear, owl, mermaid, and zebra. I have not done the zebra one yet. That one looks super hard. Okay, so on this shelf we have a bunch of 500 piece puzzles from Gallison. I love to collect these because I think the boxes are so cute and they stack really nice. Um, this one was actually the very first puzzle that I did on my YouTube channel, and I just think this one is so pretty. Um, over here I have a couple, it's called the Artist Canvas, uh, and it's a bunch of quotes and phrases about self-care, and this one is about gratitude, and I think those are so cute. Over here I have kind of a random bunch of puzzles from different brands on the left side, and then over on the right I have a bunch of 500 piece Ravensburger puzzles. And then these are of 99 dogs and 99 cats. And then this one is just kind of a random fall themed puzzle. On this shelf, I have a couple buffalo puzzles and then I have a 3000 piece Kodak puzzle. This one I actually got from Walgreens and look at how like real the picture looks. Super excited to do this one. I don't know how good the piece quality will be, but I love the picture. And then I have this rustic lodge puzzle. That one looks fun. On this shelf, we have a couple of 500 piece Ravensburger puzzles. We have a minion puzzle, 100 piece. And then this one I bought from White Mountain. It's of a bunch of cereal boxes and they're all 100 piece puzzles. And I think those are super fun to do if you just want to do a quick puzzle. Over here, we have a couple of Gallison puzzles. We have this puzzle, which is a picture of Toad, just the head. And I think this is the cutest thing ever. I love this puzzle. And then we have the really challenging um, $2 million puzzle. This one is very difficult. I started it so many times and I just put it away because I knew I wasn't gonna finish it. So maybe someday I'll get back to that. But for now, I'm just gonna sit on my shelf. On this shelf, I have a couple of Ravensburger puzzles, even some Crypt puzzles. I have a 300 piece Friends puzzle, a 300 piece puzzle from Calm, and then a 500 piece Gallison puzzle. Over here I have a couple Coca-Cola puzzles from Springbok. Those are super fun. I have this random States Plates puzzle. I have a gradient puzzle from Clawberry. And then I have a 2000 piece seashell puzzle from Gallison. And then over here I have Happy Little Puzzles Jigsaw Book from Bob Ross. Every picture is of one of his paintings, which is really cool. And they put it into a book, which I think is super cool. On this shelf, I have all my big Ravensburger puzzles. Most of them are 2,000. I have a couple 3,000. And then I have Karen's puzzle um, down at the bottom there. I'm so excited to do that one. I just haven't gotten to it yet. And then I have this 500 piece uh, Cobble Hill puzzle that we actually did at the puzzle competition I went to. So that one's fun. On this shelf, again, a bunch of random puzzles. Most of these are still shrink wrapped. I got these at Home Goods. There are a bunch of Christmas puzzles, so I kind of put those towards the bottom until next um, Christmas. I have one Cobble Hill puzzle of cats on bookshelves, and then I have this White Mountain license plate puzzle. Well, that was it for my entire puzzle shelf. I do need another shelf because I do have more puzzles. Um, I just didn't have anywhere to put them on the shelf. It's getting full. So this is the puzzle I'm working on right now. This is a 5,000 piece puzzle from Masterpiece. Okay, so this is what my puzzle room looks like when you walk in. I have currently three IKEA tables so I can work on the big puzzle. That's my cat, Dale. Hi! Bye! Okay, so as I was saying, I have three IKEA tables to support the board here, and then I use this workout bench for my chair. Eventually, I'd like to get one that has a back support. Um, over here, I have two drawers full of puzzle pieces. This is how I do my sorting. These drawers are actually removable. I highly recommend this for sorting puzzle pieces. It's super nice and convenient. That's why I have two. 
So this is what I have underneath my table. I have the 60,000 piece puzzle. What a wonderful world. I got that one at Costco. And then I'm currently working on this puzzle, the 42,000 piece puzzle by Etika. Um, I got one section done and then I was working on the second section, but then I got bored and started this 5,000 piece puzzle. So. so we're inside my closet and in this big green tote, I actually have an 18,000 piece Ravensburger puzzle that I had completed a couple years ago. I do have a video on my YouTube channel if you want to go check that out. Um, in this tote, I have the first world's largest puzzle um, from Kodak, the 50,000 piece puzzle. That's all in here. And then on top of this, I don't know if you can see it, I have a gradient puzzle, a 5,000 piece gradient puzzle that I did. All these puzzles are actually all completed and then I use painter's tape to tape the back so I can save them. So hopefully when I get a big enough house, I can put them on the wall. I also have a couple more puzzles underneath my bed just because my puzzle shelf was so full. I have like a National Geographic Eagle puzzle, a couple more cereal box puzzles, one from Bob Ross. Um, I have Mount Rushmore. I think I have a Minnesota Wild puzzle. Most of these I did already, so I'm just kind of keeping them under here. So this is all under our couch. Um, I also love to do diamond art. I started this one. And then I have this really pretty one. Look at how tiny the dots are. You can see I did a little bit of work, but if you zoom out, you can't even tell. This one looks super fun. I have to finish that. Um, so anyway, then I have the Minions Impossible puzzle. I did this one probably like five years ago now. I did glue it, so I just need a frame for it. And then they came out with another Minions Impossible puzzle. I also glued this one. I just love how this looks, so I think I'm gonna frame those and put them together on the wall. And I have this 3,000 piece marble puzzle. I did glue this one too. I just have to find a big enough frame so I can put it on the wall. All right, that was all my puzzles. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye, say goodbye.